So today we are going to be unboxing uh, a prize I won from a, a lovely person on YouTube called Jennifer Fong. Um, she's so lovely, she just did a giveaway and somehow I won, which is amazing and it's all art supplies. So what we're going to do is I'm going to unbox it with you and then we're going to make something with the art supplies that are in here and I cannot wait. Eee! Um, she is in New Zealand and there's such a cool thing on this box from New Zealand talking about um, the Maori word for protector or guardian and even that in itself before you've even opened this it's super cute it's really nice <laughs> okay let's see what we got <gasps> even opening this the smell that has just come out of here is so good oh my god there's so much <laughs> So we have crunchies, and I don't know how she knows this, but Cadbury's crunchies are like one of my favorite things. So this is amazing. <laughs> I almost bought these like a few days ago in the shop. I look how pretty those colors are. <laughs> okay, this is amazing. I thought I was getting art supplies. This is chocolate. <laughs> Sour. Oh, okay, okay. So these are, I'm gonna say this wrong, I know I am. Fijoa? Fijoa? It's that word there. I only just discovered this word the other day and uh, it's a type of uh, fruit that's from this part of the world and I love sour things as well. So this, ooh, I'm really excited to try these. Maybe I will, um, maybe I will take a bit of a leaf from Casey Golden's YouTube channel. I don't know if you ever watch her YouTube channel. She unboxes these uh, Tokyo treat boxes and then she does art theme to them. So maybe I'll like combine and do like a art haul and basically drawings on the sweets and chocolates that are in here. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, I'm gonna do one of these tonight. <laughs> this is so exciting. I really, <laughs> I thought that the prize of art was enough, but this is so cool. Look how cute these are. <laughs> oh, you see, this is why I love the art community online. I think everybody is so friendly. And the way I won this is that if she got everyone to put like little like a little piece of advice to like help people like brighten their day and cheer up and stuff and it was lovely to read them all um but yeah it, her name is jennifer but she's on youtube as Faye wolf like i say i'll put it all down at the bottom <laughs> so there's like mario and there's a little girl with a novel <laughs> wow i'm spoiled this is completely spoiled okay so i think this is <gasps> This is, so I kind of know the supplies are in here because she mentioned them when I uh, entered the giveaway. But this is, I think this is some really nice, yeah, this is some really, really nice uh, different types of watercolour paper. And I know nothing about watercolours, especially watercolour paper. So I'm really excited to like, test it and get a bit of a grip on what I should be using. So that's really cool. There's loads in there. I don't know if you can see it. And also, a dot test. So... This is like a lot of the little colors from Daniel Smith. And then you can um, kind of try and see what you want, I suppose, in the future, which is really cool. But there's enough there that you could do a really nice picture with them. Oh, a little palette thing. I actually really need one of these. This is, a, this is amazing, a little palette thing. Palette thing, the official name, the nice official name. Oh, oh these little, I think these are, oh, so these are little, little pieces of paper as well, lots of little extra pieces of paper. This is perfect because, yeah, I really do need to test out paper and I can do some little things. Maybe I'll do, I'm going to do a little one and send it back to her to say thank you for all of this. Windsor and Noon brushes. Oh, amazing. These are the exact size of brushes I need as well. I don't know if you can see them in there. There's like, like a flat one, a round one, and a, a filbert. <laughs> okay, so this this is like it's almost almost also ugh, if I can speak too excited. This is like a meme online. This book like every artist used this and it's so magical. I recently ordered one um, all the way from America, and I'm in love with it. So I'm definitely a convert. It's soft paper, but you it's really good for watercoloring. But I'm not a huge fan of the the like bumpy one. So this is perfect and it's really good for markers and everything and this is the best size look at that it's like not quite a5 but it's just it's not as big as an a4 <laughs> oh that's right i just smelled the paper 
paper chocolate watercolour face mask. I just got like a little hook underneath so I can like put, put it inside it. Okay, so this is the colours that are in here. It's like a huge variety of colours that I'm really excited to work on. Especially that neutral mix. Look at that neutral mix. It's like a, an amazing... I can't really see it on here, but it's like a purpley, a grey... And there's oh, and an orange. I've really been looking for like a deep yellowy orange. And now, okay, okay, I like them all. I'm not just going to sit here telling you how much I like all of these. I like them all. Ooh. Oh, that's so cute. Look how cute I love this. Okay, so it's melted the tiniest bit because Australia is always boiling. But they have traveled actually really well. Like, so there is the palette. And they've come in their own little pans. Oh. I'm so excited for this. Oh, cool. Okay, so these are like proper handmade. They sound like they're like natural ingredients, which is really cool. And honestly, I was about to buy some of these before I won this contest. So let's see how they travel. It is very hot in here, and there's a little note saying that if it's a really hot country, you might have to put them in the freezer for a bit. So I'm not. Holding out hope that they've traveled very well. Let's see. Oh, I love this color. Isn't this just the best color? I know some people really don't like purple, but I love purple. Yeah, oh my god, there's so many. <laughs> Look how many extra colors are in there. Can you see these? Oh, I'm so excited to swatch these. Okay, we got some. I know they've got swatches on the top, but like, this is pretty cool. Beautiful colours. Mm -hmm. The last thing is this. Sorry, no. let's see what this is. This is a black wing pencil. This is a pearl edition, I think. So this pencil um, has only, I think, recently returned to shops because this is known as the pencil of prose. So if you've ever seen a Looney Tunes cartoon, Chuck Jones is the creator, is one of the creators of that, and he swears by these pencils. Um, they have a reusable rubber as well, and I have some of them left, but um, you can use these until they're like millimeters left, and people swear by them. So I'm very excited to use one of these a bit more. Oh my goodness, mine just ran out of this. This is a, a Statler pigment marker. Uh, in 0.3, so you can see it's not too, you can't see, but it's not too small, it's not too thick. Perfect. Love lining stuff, it always adds that last little finesse. Uh, ooh, okay, so this is, these are, and I'm sure you've heard of all of these things before, but this is, uh, these are Colorace Prisma, Prisma Color Pencils. Prisma Color Pencils, I know them as the Animator Pencil. You've actually given me perfect animation supplies here, so I wonder if you are into animation too. Um, this one doesn't show up on a scanner. The blue is like a light enough thing that you can draw it and it won't come out on the scanner. And this Carmine Red is one of the most popular drawing pencils for animators. So excited. I love these. And they're erasable. So um, my rubbers on these always disappear very quickly. <laughs> I'm so excited. Ooh, okay, I've never used one of these. This is a Faber-Castell eraser. Um, I'm imagining this is good because Faber-Castell are very good and everything else here has been amazing. So I'm assuming this will be very good too. <gasps> okay, and the last two things. This one is a hybrid gel grip. Ooh, I haven't tried this one. I've struggled a lot to find good white gel pens to go over like when I do markers and stuff. So I'm really excited to try this one and see how this one comes out. So thank you, that's really cool. And the last one, and this is, oh my goodness. Oh, oh wow, it's a fountain pen. I haven't used fountain pens since I was like, like a, a baby, <laughs> not a baby, since I was in school, because they, they made us use fountain markers and, and they always felt so fancy and like cool. So you, this is the ink cartridge and you like stick it in there and you can do like really nice calligraphy with it. I'm not gonna do it yet. I'll wait until I'm about to start drawing. Let's take the lid off. 
And then you've got, ooh, then you've got like, can you see this? Like the sharp, the sharp fountain marker. This is gonna be fun. I've been really interested lately on what it would be like to draw with like a traditional ink marker. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. There is so much stuff that it's taken over my whole desk. <laughs> okay, so the plan. The plan is I am gonna use some of these supplies as a idea base, and then I am gonna use all of the actual art supplies to do some drawings and paintings. We can see what we can come up with. So let's go. Okay, so we have all of these lovely art supplies um, ready to use. Um, and I am going, oh, and we have some extra ones. Ooh, look how beautiful this color is, it's so nice. So these are the supplies we're gonna be using today. Um, I have this amazing sketchbook that I got in this art hall too, but I'm gonna, save this because I only just started one of these and instead I'm going to use all of this fantastic paper that um, came in the box because I'm excited to experiment. So I'm going to do one based on one of these face masks and then I'm going to create another three characters based on a mix of these different delicious New Zealand treats. I'm not sure which one yet, definitely these little ones because I love the green um, and I love the colors on this one so I think I'm going to concentrate on these in fact this is my like probably one of my most favorite sweets as I said earlier but the colors are quite just gold and white so I might not use that one and instead I love the idea of this pear and honey this like plum and purple and almond which is quite cool so I'm thinking one two um, and I love crunchies, but I think one, two, ooh, sour, sour crocodile drawing, and maybe one based off one of these face masks. So yeah, let's get to it. Okay, so I have all of this paper here, and Jeff has, in a beautiful handwriting, has written what they all are. Now, I'm gonna be honest, I know nothing about watercolor paper. Okay, so we should try these. We'll try these treats first. Whoop. I'm still unsure how you say this. Pajoa is what I'm going to go with. I know I should know how to say that. Ooh. Ooh. Well, they smell really, um, not what it, like minty almost. Okay, so they are delicious. Sorry for my awful nails, but they are amazing. I absolutely love them. It's weird. They're like, really like limey and fruity but at the same time they've got like this minty aftertaste is the best way i can describe it i know that sounds like crazy talk but that's what they taste like okay what i've decided i'm gonna do is kind of a girl in a crocodile inspired dress because i love this shape and i think that would make a really cool like blooming skirt um and she's gonna have quite tight features to represent the sour uh, and she's gonna have kind of a crocodile, crocodile hat on. Well, that's the aim. So uh, let's get drawing. So I don't know if you can see what I've drawn here, but I've gone for like a New Zealand lady is having kind of a cocktail party, and uh, she is presenting a cocktail flavored to this sweet. So she's got like a bougie kind of <laughs> hat that's subtly a crocodile, but. Um, like when you see people go to the races and they've got the hats like that and she's got this big ballooning skirt that represents this kind of shape and little bows and I'm gonna be staying in this kind of area here lots of purples and greens and uh, a touch of yellow and I'm thinking maybe giving her some nice blue hair <laughs>
So this chocolate, I've opened up and it's just really cool and big chunks. And a really heavy chocolate and it is delicious. It's got all these little white little white almonds in it so I'm thinking like a girl in like a really structured dress and I've got all these beautiful colours to try for this one and a lot of them seem to be quite purpley and pink so that goes perfectly for what we need. Okay, <laughs> so it took me a really long time to get these open um, and I had to put them in the freezer for a bit because they're natural, they've got honey in them, a binding agent, and in my hot house they melted a bit. So um, it's, <laughs> it's been like a week since I just cut, so um, we're going to swatch these now, we're going to finish our paintings. Let's go. Okay, so for my last character, I'm going to use this pear and honey chocolate bar. I cannot tell you how delicious this is. It is amazing. And I'm also going to use a bit of influence from one of these face masks. This one is green and we've already done a green drawing. So, I'm going to go with this, this pinky combination of these two. Um, and we can uh, see what we come up with.
set myself aside Lead the way on this trial If you don't know the way We can start and make a change I know we walk for days Losing hope, fading love This night will be okay Waking up to another definitely recommend this delicious chocolate if you can get hold of any. But um, I hope you all have a fantastic week and I will see you soon.